Central Indiana, a thriving metropolis, the heart of Indiana's booming economy. From white collar to blue, from factory to front office, jobs are being created. And RTV6 is working for you, connecting you with the information, the contacts, the resources you need. Join us now as we launch a new mission. This is an RTV6 News special, Hiring Hoosiers. At RTV6, Hiring Hoosiers is all about you. After all, a satisfying job impacts every aspect of your life, your home, your health, your hopes, your happiness. So let's get to work. In the next 10 years, there's a need to fill about 1 million jobs in our state. Here's the breakdown. 300,000 are projected to be newly created positions and 700,000 to replace people retiring in what has been called the silver tsunami. Unemployment so low, people, they can pick and choose who they want to take and not just taking a body to fill the spot. So do you have to be better? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, I think so. I think you have to market yourself correctly and and uh, and get the proper training. If this job says no, that doesn't mean that that's the end. Apply again, try again, go somewhere else. Just because this might not be the field for you or that might not be the position that you want, accept that job because something else might come along greater. Thousands of jobs are going unfilled. As hundreds of employers say, they can't find the people with the skills they need. Jim Stone turned to music when his world turned upside down. He had to start over. His job paying $25 an hour moved to Mexico. Those jobs are hard, getting harder to find. Jim worked at Rexnord, the West Side Indianapolis ball bearings manufacturer, ended production in November 2017. The fear of not finding another job that paid as well, or the same, led to a dose of depression, stress, um, and worry. Because of the uncertainty, and um, you kind of feel like you're just being kicked around, you know, uh, that, that can, you know, make you feel a little sure. bummed out. He's got a box of all these things that they had to make, all these different pieces. Uh, he leaned on his wife to help with the monthly bills while he went to school. He was resistant to the idea at first. Was that? I think he was afraid of not going for that long without making enough money. He signed up with the federal program known as the Trade Adjustment Assistance, which provides benefits like paying for training to people whose jobs are moved overseas. So Jim sat through four months of homework. 31,000 and two tenths equals one thirty second. Had to memorize all that stuff. And manufacturing coursework at the Lebanon Vincennes campus led him to Mooresville-based Advanced Aero, which restores, repairs, and replaces airplane parts. I enjoy it. The man who worked on F-4 jets as a Marine is back in his world. I think a military background in aircraft helped. That's the number of jobs the state says could be filled today. They're mostly in health, advanced manufacturing, IT, transportation, and building and construction. Most of the jobs are in manufacturing and IT, with pay ranging from $15 to $64 an hour. With some employers struggling to find skilled workers, the state has committed $20 million to train people in high demand jobs. It's really critical to, to have the access to, to those training programs. So we to find what jobs are available in your area right now, you can go online to indianacareerready.com. Hiring Hoosiers is about making connections to resources. Right now, workforce grants are available to help with schooling for high demand jobs. So far, 11,000 Hoosiers have enrolled. 
You can't get a grant if you already have an associate's or bachelor's degree. Employers can also apply to get up to $50,000 to cover training costs. More than 450 businesses have done that. To apply to either, you can go to nextleveljobs.org or call 866-591-5018. Employers are going to have to find ways to challenge their managers uh, to work with younger populations and see value in internships, see value in work-based learning as a way to develop pipeline, not as philanthropy, not because of social good, although all that is obviously super important, but because they need to develop a, a pipeline of talent that ultimately is going to become their workforce. Many employers offer to pay tuition to programs that could lead to a workplace promotion, but often you have to pay out of pocket before you get reimbursed. If you don't have the extra cash because of child care, health care, or other bills, that could be a roadblock to your success. That's why Ivy Tech and Vincennes Universities will first educate and train. When you pass the course, companies participating in their tuition programs get a bill for the cost of the class, not you. More than 150 businesses are taking part in the Achieve Your Degree program through Ivy Tech. This is a wonderful model to grow your entry-level workforce, and we know that the jobs of the future have changed. A high school education isn't enough to guarantee middle class anymore. This logistics training center here in Plainfield is part of Vincennes University's efforts to get people ready for jobs at FedEx, UPS, and Amazon. Vincennes has multiple training facilities across the state to also prepare people in numerous professions, including aviation, IT, and advanced manufacturing. Employers are also trying to compete for that individual that they want to be within their company, and so they are having to pay a little bit more uh, to compete against other companies that are offering better wages. The opioid crisis striking our state and country is keeping a lot of people out of the workforce. Many Indiana businesses, they test for illegal drugs as part of the application process. Our Lauren Casey with the Belden Blueprint and how that's helping to hire Hoosiers. Yeah, Raphael, this is about a Richmond manufacturing company with a plant based in Richmond. And it's all about treating people differently who are addicted to opioids. When those prospective employees fail those pre-screening drug tests, instead of showing them the door, they're showing them a new option for work. Giving them an opportunity to earn a livable wage, giving them hope. Belden Industries manufactures cable for industrial business. Nearly a third of their current employees are up for retirement within the next few years, so leaders at Belden knew they were at a crossroads. We were a little bit concerned when we launched a program about what the reaction was going to be, and it's been a pleasant surprise. Belden was seeing an increase in the prospective employees failing their pre-employment drug tests or screenings. So they created a pathway to recovery program partnering with outside organizations to provide addiction treatment and then jobs. It's a bridge from treatment to employment. We have seen a huge sense of pride of people that have been able to keep a job, employees that come in and talk about the success they've had. The program launched in February of 2018. Since then, eight people have dropped out, but we can tell you that 15 people are now working jobs in the plant. 11 of those people have now graduated on to operating machinery. They've learned a lot along the way, like people will stay in the program and be more successful if they're also able to earn a livable wage. We view it as we're changing the stigma and we've it, it's allowed current employees to come forward and say, hey, I need help. And now they're creating the Belden Blueprint to guide other companies who want to give something like this a shot. Now this Belden program is not only getting recognition on the state level, but it's also getting recognition from the feds. It's something that other companies may want to consider. Today's kindergartners may not recognize the job market when they graduate high school in the year 2031. For those in school right now, there's a push to connect the classroom with a career. With our aging population and a growing demand for nurses, students from Crispus Attucks High School are stepping outside of the classroom and coming here. They're not only gaining real world experience, but getting a jump start on their careers. Good morning, Mr. Abernathy. Good morning. 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 Good morning.
a very good learning experience. Like when I'm here, I feel much better than I would be in a classroom and just sitting down. Daniela and Destiny are just two student CNAs tasked with helping residents at North Capital Nursing and Rehabilitation get back on their feet, among other things. Brushing their teeth, combing their hair, feeding, feeding them and stuff. They're doing uh, temperatures, blood pressures, pulse and respirations, and those are things that you learn in basic nursing classes anyway. Projections from the Bureau of Labor Statistics show the demand for nurses will only intensify over the next decade as as baby boomers age and the need for health care grows. People need somebody to take care of them because at home it can be very difficult. It can be hard for their family. This group not only receiving training, but credit and certification while on the fast track to starting their nursing careers. It's a good opportunity to be able to already have this trait under your belt at a young age like this. So you can already be prepared when you graduate to go into the nursing field or whatever field you want to go into. So what happens after students complete that program? Once students complete the required number of clinical hours and then they receive state certification, they are able to work at a facility. And those students stand to make about $12.50 an hour. Pay their instructors say is a great amount for someone who's just 18 or 19 years old. And we know that CNAs play a vital role in healthcare. Just download the app, sign up, have a debit card, just go from there. Mobile people movers changing the way you travel and how you can make money. You're going you're gonna to dictate what your salary is because people will be bidding on you when you're in such high demand. The outlook for those college bound and why $28 per hour will matter to you and the government. Six investigates are working for you weeknights at 11. You're watching an RTV6 News special, Hiring Hoosiers. The two biggest scooter companies serving the Indy metro area are hiring Hoosiers. And depending on your efforts, you can make thousands of dollars a month. Our Mark Mullins talked to people who are reaping the benefits of this side job. Yeah, Raphael, and it's really easy to get involved, too. All you need is a smartphone and a little spare time in the evenings. It's just after 9 o'clock on Monument Circle, and Kylan Taylor and Jay Smith are collecting scooters, loading them onto their pickup truck. Uh, we probably go two or three hours a day a night and we probably get about 20 25. Kylan and Jay are just two out of thousands around the area working as bird chargers. Just download the app, sign up, have a debit card, just go from there. The Lime Company calls them juicers, basically collecting scooters at night, plugging them into charge, and putting them back on the streets before sunrise. District managers say it's easy to join the juicer team, starting with a quick session on the app or the scooter company's website. After they get their forms filled out, they get a tutorial on how to charge our scooters and what the process is. You do need a special charging wire provided by each company to plug in the scooters. And then um, once they have their chargers, now they are able to um, basically be a resource for us to get all of our scooters that need to be charged charged on a daily basis. The companies both say they're always looking for more. We have some folks that just kind of uh, do it on a very small scale for a little extra maybe pocket money and we have other folks that have uh, maybe pickup trucks or a van that are doing upwards of, you know, 20 scooters a night. So let's do a little basic math. At a base rate of $5 per scooter, you collect 20 scooters in a night for five nights for four weeks well, that amounts to $2,000 a month. Christmas time coming up, extra money on the side. A job that takes a little bit more than a little of your time. Well, dedication, just basically just get out here and get it. It's easy money. And Lime says since their scooters arrived in Indy, they have hired more than 10,000 juicers. One of the perks of this job, you get paid the next day for work you do the night before. The money is deposited directly into your bank account. And we asked whether charging scooters drives up your power bill. Well, Lime tells us it costs only pennies on the dollar to fully charge a scooter. But Raphael, perhaps the biggest challenge in this is that you have to wait until 9 p.m. to hit the streets to collect scooters. But people are using them throughout the region. That's right, and they're looking to fill more jobs. Your ride to work may take you to Kokomo, Greensburg, or Princeton, but you're heading to jobs with international ties to Indiana. 953 foreign-based companies employ more than 193,000 Hoosiers. That would fill about three Lucas Oil Stadiums or 14 Victory Fields. We sat down with the governor, wanting to know what jobs he wants to bring to Indiana when he's traveling to other countries. 
is every job a good job, or do you, are you picky? When you, when you head to those countries, do you say, yeah, I want those, but I may not want those? We set a goal of about $28 uh, for an hourly wage. Those are the type of high wage, high demand, so that they meet that life sciences, our advanced manufacturing, sure. our sweet spots here in the state of Indiana. But we're, we're, we set a goal of about 28 bucks. We're, we're coming in at about right now, um, and again, this fluctuates, but we're coming in north of, we're, we're just, I should say, just south of, excuse me, $27 an hour. So those are the jobs that we're looking for now. But what that does is it requires you to be skilled up to fill those jobs. So again, we can't take our eye off the ball uh, in terms of having the workforce ready to fill those jobs. But no, all, all jobs aren't equal. But what things could I do as a college student to prepare me at least to be adaptable, flexible, to be able to at least have a good job in that when I graduate in 2023? Right. Well, the first thing I want to tell them is Indiana wants you. We want you to grow here. We want to grow together. And this is a, uh, our ecosystem has been cultivated over the recent years as a growing environment. Um, in these, you mentioned five sectors. Second thing I would tell them is, is um, pursue something that you're passionate about. You, you tend to go further in life if you enjoy what you're doing. Now, having said that, you know, I I'm probably not the best poet in the world. Um, so you have, to, you have to look at the rate of uh, uh, the ROI, so to speak, of, of your experience in, in college. Um, if, you, if you want a good insurance policy, I would, I would um, be taking courses that, that uh, enhance your creative thinking skills in general. But, I mean, math is going to take you far in this world. And science is going to take you far in this world. And if you excel in those areas that are, that, that are transforming the way that we live, so anything in terms of life sciences, health sciences, um, in the state of Indiana, you're going, to be, you're, going to, you're going to dictate what your salary is because people will be bidding on you you're in such high demand because the state is growing. And, and I want to make sure that in this time of unprecedented um, change, the scale and the pace of change due to technological advances, that Indiana is going to continue to pioneer what those changes are. So we need the creative class. We need the folks going through our Purdue, Notre Dame, WGU, Ivy Tech, um, Indiana University, um, Hanover, Ev Hanover Franklin, Franklin, Evansville. Yeah. I mean, the list just goes on and on. That, that, this, is, this is, you talk about your cup runneth over. We have so many options that are close to you that can get on your schedule to increase um, your quality of life. That's what it's really all about, all about. More of our conversation with the governor is a digital extra on the RTV6 app and the IndyChannel.com. The boom of commerce, the explosion of delivery services, putting a strain on the supply of truck drivers. We break down the barriers to filling these jobs. Why you should take the wheel on the... Believe we've got everything else you need. You're watching an RTV6 News special, Hiring Hoosiers. Your career path may involve crisscrossing the country. The trucking industry is facing a driver shortage. Our Amanda Sorrentino has more on that. Amanda? Raphael, when we say shortage, we mean it. The American Trucking Association says on average, 90,000 drivers need to be hired a year to keep up with the current demand on the roads. I talked with one local company based out of central Indiana who is trying to make that hiring process easier for employers to fill those empty seats. There are millions of trucks on the roads each day, but it has been a challenge for trucking companies to recruit and retain drivers for this vital mode of transportation. Take record unemployment and a booming economy, it makes filling this gap difficult. The biggest challenge we had, we're just not getting enough new entrants into the industry to replace those who are leaving. So you're getting people who are retiring or uh, maybe they're leaving because the economy is doing so well that they have other opportunities that just weren't there before. Jeremy Raymer has worked in the trucking industry for almost two decades. He says as technology and comfort within the trucks have improved, the job interest has declined. There's an image issue. Trucking is seen as probably it's a little dirty or greasy and it's not maybe the most desirable. It's not that bad actually. It's great. It's a great industry, great career, great path to you know middle and upper middle class. I think what people don't realize is the fact that 
that if you get into a truck today, it looks like the cockpit of, a, of an airplane. I mean, it's pretty sophisticated. There's automated technology that's developed now and continues to be developed that make that experience even better. Two years ago, he founded Driver Reach, an applicant tracking system to help companies hire commercial driver licensed drivers faster and more efficiently in an effort to combat this trucking shortage. Trucking is the backbone of the economy, and right here in Indianapolis, it's the crossroads of America. Yet there are not enough people stepping up to fill these empty seats. The trucking industry needs to hire an average of 90,000 drivers a year. That is according to the American Trucking Association. There's plenty of trucking industry business where drivers can be home every day. They might work a first shift, second shift, or third shift, but it's still a full-time and regular, you know, daily so type job. Still... You have to be at least 21 years old to be eligible for employment, and you have to complete a program to obtain a CDL, which takes anywhere from a few weeks to a few months. In 2016, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics said the average annual wage of a truck driver was about $44,000. For somebody who doesn't necessarily have a college degree, and that's a, it's a great opportunity immediately to, to, to start earning that type of a wage and, and, uh, and grow into that path. This is an industry where relationships are established and they last a lifetime. Jeremy Raymer claims a big component of the driver shortage is the fact that you have to be 21 years old in order to cross state lines as an employed driver. So any changes on the horizon on this issue? Possibly, Raphael. He is working with the Committee on the Drive Safe Act. It's a bill that would allow 18-year-olds to enter the workforce without these restrictions as a truck driver. So we'll see what federal regulators decide in the future. Please connect with us. If you would like to share a story idea, learn about sponsorship opportunities, or more information about hiring Hoosiers, email us at hiringhoosiers at rtv6.com, our website, hiringhoosiers.com, and join our Facebook group. On behalf of all of us at RTV6, thank you for watching Hiring Hoosiers. But I think a lot of employers have learned that some of us are a little more mature or more stable. <laughs> yeah, are more stable, reliable, and willing to Can learn. I say it yeah, I hope you do. Yeah, I, I believe it. Retrain into something that you're interested in. Um, I think that's a wonderful, it's a, it's a perfect time to do it. Sometimes you have to turn the heat up. Sometimes you have to go out and you gotta strive for success because if you don't, you're only failing yourself.